Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we're looking at Wizard in Training Booster Packs. These are apprentice packs and there are nine cards per pack. They're made by Upper Deck. We saw the um, starter set, the two player starter in another episode and these are the booster packs. So let's see what we've got inside. Alright, let's see what we've got here. We've got a Troll, a Lava Gargoyle, a Kenzie Taylor, and we've got a Sonic, we've got a Relic, um, which is a charm of some sort, a Goblin, a Crossbow, a set of Chainmail, and a Common Gargoyle. Not bad for our first pack. Let's see what we've got in our second pack here. Now I think this game was designed to kind of tap into the Harry Potter craze. Uh, it's from that time period. Um, there's 90 regular cards with 6 main character cards, 23 dual character cards, 22 wizard spell cards, 39 wizard item cards. And then there's inserts of advanced dual characters, uh, 12 of those, 12 advanced wizard item cards, 1 in 8 packs, and 6 advanced wizard spell cards, 1 in 23. So we should probably be keeping an eye out for those, but I don't know how to tell the difference, honestly. So let's see what we've got here. We've got a Mystic Orc, a Swarm Attack, a Mantis, Energy Coil, Strong Spell Counter, another Mystic Orc, a Sitha Divai, a Magic Wand, and a Magical Broom. So not bad. This game looks really easy to play. It's aimed at younger audiences, I think. Mainly because of the Harry Potter type feel to it. Let's see what's in our third pack here. We've got a Silence spell, a Heat spell, we've got a Net, we've got a Tusk, we've got a Breastplate, there's a Troll, a Magic Amulet, a Crystal Ball, and a Satyr. Not bad. And on the back, you know, you've got the standard image which is a little generic and we've got a little diamond foil which is going to get destroyed if unless you have this in a protector upper deck was real big on these little diamond foils on their cards for some reason and it was a cute gimmick on the trading cards but on a collectible card game it's a little dumb so this is one of their early attempts at card games though these are from 2000 so it was well before they got their act together with the world of warcraft trading card game and even the quick strike game this is one of their early attempts um, and I think it had a little bit of a following but the game looks easy so if, if you can find it cheap I'd recommend it just uh, to try it out try something different out or to play with somebody younger um, so but that's what you can expect inside the wizard in training booster packs we opened three of them got a pretty decent assortment of cards and uh, that's about all we've got to uh, say to that, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time on What's Inside.